Thank you first. Aluminum foil. Hot glue. And then the brass tube. Then we're just gonna cover the foil with some clay. Perfect. Mouth goes here and and then I want the mouth to womp, 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 and attach it. So one of his legs slightly bent and I'm gonna use the hands like the hands are gonna look a bit weird maybe like not human hands but I'm gonna use them to make it more dynamic and we also need to close his mouth this he looks super dorky but I think he's cute and now with his right leg we're gonna make his foot go up Now we're gonna slow down the movement a bit, so just tiny, tiny change. Also gonna start moving his head or make his mouth open up a bit more because soon he's gonna start to sink down and then we need like a counter movement. So his hands are gonna flop a bit and his mouth is gonna open. straighten out his leg but here we need to count a bit so I don't know if I want one or two frames before he hits the ground we need one more frame before he hits the ground so we're gonna make a bigger movement I'm gonna lower him down more Now we preparing for the impact. I'm gonna go down. He hits the floor with his heel and then the foot is gonna be up for one more frame. Or maybe down a little bit, maybe like that. Like that. I think this looks okay. And soon we're at the halfway mark. And now we need to remember how his starting position was because we want the same amount of frames and we want the same kind of pose. So I think this is okay. Like the movement, I shouldn't have gone this low here because the change from this frame to this frame is, is pretty rough. Nice, and then we're gonna count some frames. Now we go back again to see, okay. So his leg is gonna start straighten out. There. Okay, that's nice. And his foot can be there. And down with his leg a bit. Boop, boop. Still straight legs. And soon we can close the loop. Just a few more frames. We'll take this one. But um, now we're gonna see how many frames we had for impact. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Leg straight, but the heel is gonna touch the floor and hand getting floppy. we have the impact uh, I don't know if he sinks down even further no he stays there 
So after impact, we're just gonna slide this leg forward a bit. And then remember we had like three frames we needed to do after impacts. One, two, so this is gonna be the last one really. So we need to make a bit bigger movements now to catch up to the three frames that we have. But I, ah, I want them to sink down a bit. I don't know, like maybe we are finished now. He's too low, so I need to get him up a bit. Okay, so I took the first frame and put it in here. So we can try and see if we got the loop finished here with the walking cycle. So we're gonna take this away, put it on loop and see what happens. Okay, you ready? Oh my God, it works. Ha, we did it. And now we have the blank plate playing for the whole duration of our animation. But then we can turn down the opacity to 50. So we see what's happening. And now we're gonna start masking. And as always, we wanna keep the shadow intact. So I'm gonna start doing a super simple mask like this. And then steer away from the shadow. And there we have our mask. I'm just gonna pull these out to the corners. And super sorry, my, my computer is working so hard right now. So I apologize for any lag, but let's try it. So from here now you have your mask. And now we're gonna animate the mask. So we press on this little mask path uh, timer. We press it and we get our first keyframe. So now we see how the first keyframe looks and we're gonna go forward a bit and see for how long it fits. Like you see already the first frame that arm is gonna get cut off. We can follow him down as well to make it look a bit cleaner and to make us not have to do too much work in Photoshop. Ah, maybe a new, I make so many new points, but whatever. Yeah, we need to change this one up, 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 up. If you want to put more time and effort into this, it's just the same principle, but just, yeah, <laughs> maybe you should give it a bit more time. And then we're gonna turn it up to 100 again. Bum, bum. And see. Oh, look at that. And then we can just copy and paste a bit so we can have a little loop. <laughs> so I'm gonna use my short commands like command and C to copy this blank plate on top of each frame. So I'm just gonna do that first. So we're just gonna zoom in a bit. And now like you see up here, zoom all windows so now all the frames are zoomed in so they are all lined up and I can just switch between the frames and see what's happening.